Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm unboxing the Insta360 Ace Pro Action Camera. It retails for $449. US I'll include a link in the description, and in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. So when this launched three months ago, as many of you know that follow my channel, I was in pretty rough shape. Uh, I was recovering, still am, from major surgery, and really, even though I wanted this action camera at launch, I didn't purchase it just because I knew I would need an opportunity to actually use it, which in the state I was then, it wasn't going to happen. So when Insta360 reached out to me a little while back and said, hey, we like what you're doing, we see you appreciate the products we make, we'd like to collaborate, I said, you know, I've been waiting quite a while for this to happen. So hopefully this is the beginning of a lot more coverage of Insta360 products. Um, and the Ace Pro is a great place to start because, again, at least on paper, this appears to be the king of the hill here in 2024 and, of course, back when it launched. So what are we getting? First and foremost, they followed the Go 3's design. We have a flip-out 2.4-inch screen. It's water-resistant, or I should say waterproof, to 10 meters. We have a magnetic mounting system, which we'll get to a little bit later. Uh, of course, gesture and voice control. And lest we forget the AI integration. Uh, in addition to that, we've also got a larger sensor, uh, to my knowledge, the largest ever incorporated into an action camera. So beyond a one inch sensor, excited about that. Uh, their low light pure video feature seems to be a game changer because as many of you know, action cameras are pretty much awful in low light. This appears to be pretty solid. Uh, 4K 120 slow-mo, love that. Uh, the flow state stabilization, if you're not familiar with it, is already best in class. So I'm expecting really stable footage regardless of what I throw at this camera. And then free frame video, meaning you can change the aspect ratio on pretty much anything you're shooting. And that's part of the beauty of Insta's products. It's all about um, their editing software. It is best in class. In my opinion, it does set them apart from the competition. And for anyone wondering if this is your first time seeing Insta360 on my channel, I've been purchasing Insta products, kind of alluded to that with the email communication with the manufacturer, that they noticed I've been covering a lot of their products, and that's because I have. Um, it started with the 1R, which was, in my opinion, the best action camera of its kind at the time, not only modular, but a one-inch sensor, like a glass, what's not to like. Um, and then after that, again, if you follow the channel, you know that I purchased both the X3 and the one inch edition in their 360 lineup. And these are phenomenal, uh, really just game changing cameras that I feel bring something to the table that no other cameras on the market really do uh, with excellent uh, quality, versatility and software to back it up. Now, when it comes to their action camera line, Again, um, my 1R is definitely older, and it was ready for a replacement. And here we have it. So we've got Leica Glass. I believe the aperture on this is 2.6. If you go with the less expensive Ace, which is the non-pro version, clearly, I think the lens, uh, the aperture on that, on that Leica Glass is 2.4, but you lose out on a considerable number of the features and design that the Ace Pro incorporates. So that's why my interest was specifically with the Ace Pro, most importantly, because we're getting that 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. Uh, you're going to get a half inch sensor in the Ace non-pro version. So be aware of that. Still a good option if you're looking to save money. Some instructions here right out of the box. Um, but let's take a look at this. Um, definitely very sturdy uh, construction. I'm feeling right out of the gate. We have a nice uh, front display as well uh, for you know information regarding your recording, frame rate, all that good stuff. An LED strip right there to let you know that you're recording. I like that. Uh, we come around the side. We have our uh, battery compartment right here. Uh, the flip out 2.4 inch display. I love this design. Again, they first debuted it with the Go 3, but the Go 3 was a garaged tiny action camera. This is what really I was waiting for, for them to do, because now we've got a legitimate screen for vlogging, as well as, of course, traditional action cam use. And then in addition to that, uh, we have, as I've mentioned, the largest sensor ever incorporated into an action camera. 
And all of these upgrades really do amount to something special. Now, it does shoot 8K. It's got a bare sensor. Um, that's something I'll probably talk about later on, not today. But uh, 8K is something you do not get with the regular Ace version of this camera. And I wouldn't say get this for the 8K, although it is absolutely nice to have. I haven't tested it yet. Um, I'm expecting good things, but really the reason to get this is that larger sensor. Um, because when it comes to the ability to zoom, there's your power button, by the way, uh, zooming is something you can do with this 8K sensor with their essentially clear image zoom. Um, very similar to what we have uh, in many modern cameras. So because it has that additional information, it can crop in without losing too much detail. This is a game-changing feature for me, just like the Pure Vision, the, the Pure Video for low light. Those are two things that even if you don't care about sensor size and don't understand it, or the 8K, those are two really good reasons uh, to be interested in the ACE line of action cameras. So um, let me go ahead and see what else is in the box. Uh, pretty solid there. By the way, no quarter 20 mount on the bottom of this. We do have that magnetic uh, system. So they say right here, when a mount is not attached, avoid touching uh, the heat dissip or touching because the heat dissipation area uh, after prolonged use is obviously going to get fairly warm. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that to reveal that base uh, system. And again, all it is, as I stick this to my table inadvertently, as mentioned, is literally a mounting system for accessories. Okay. It appears we have a speaker down here. Um, the onboard microphone on this also seems to be a marked improvement from uh, the previous generation. And then when it comes to battery life, another impressive feat with this guy is that um, I've seen all sorts of tests where you're getting 100 minutes of battery life, 4K30. That's phenomenal. No overheating. I mean, these are things that years ago we would have dreamt about uh, with regard to performance out of a camera like this. So Let's get past the silica gel to the rest of the goodies. And we have our instructions, which I'm going to probably put right back in the box and all of the accessories, um, connection cables, mounting uh, hardware, all of that good stuff. And that's the beauty of a camera like this because, you know, once upon a time, I didn't have great interest in action cameras because they didn't serve much of a purpose in my workflow and how I could use things. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. There isn't. But now with the introduction of cameras like this, with such large sensors, so many features, we've just, you know, found our way into a different realm of capability. Um, and, you know, Insta is also sending over the GPS controller. I'm excited about that. The ability to get a live preview besides geotagging, I think, is very, very cool. Something, again, I feel like I've been waiting for from manufacturers uh, since I remember the days when Sony introduced that feature with their action cameras. And now we have a manufacturer doing it in a very practical and useful way. Type C to C, we have a suction cup attachment. Um, with a GoPro style mount, which is going to seamlessly work with this camera, as you can see right there. And last but not least, our ability to actually physically mount that, which is this little guy, which is what you will be attaching to the bottom of this magnetically. And it will latch, or I should say lock in. There are two little uh, pressure points, um, buttons that you can use to attach and release this. Um, so you want to make sure it gets seated properly or else obviously, you know, you're not going to have a safe connection to uh, the camera. So as I'm, I'm trying to get that locked in right now, of course, ironically, and it looks like I've got it locked in there now. So um, that's one thing you do need to know about this system with the mounting. Now they also sent over the multi-mount uh, tripod system. Uh, so that'll be interesting to test out with this. I can open that up right now for anyone interested in seeing it. I have not used it. It'll be the first time. Um, and sometimes, you know, these accessories are integral, like must-haves. Um, they also sent over a screen protector. Not going to unbox that. Uh, and they also sent over a 128-gig uh, U3 V30 uh, micro SD card, which will be ideal for use with the Ace Pro. Uh, but let's open this up and just see what we're working with. I think this is something you're going to want to have um, in tow for this. And the reason I say that is because, as I just mentioned, we've got a magnetic mounting system. 
and this is kind of a tripod. Well, it's a little bit of everything from what I've seen. So let's get it out. Um, they turn to a third party manufacturer for this. Um, and, you know, I've seen products like this before that they start small and they open up to be a multifunction device. So it comes with a lanyard as well as another GoPro mount. So you've got that. And then they're just giving you the how to, you know, that it opens up um, and you can use it as basically a vlogging grip. Uh, just like this, or, you know, extend it out to selfie stick mode or tripod or actually mount it using its feet essentially with clips to walls, rocks, I mean, anything that you can essentially find a, a good steady seat for. So I think this is probably a very good accessory to have for this. Um, and just if I, you know, pop it out here, if I can figure it out based on the uh, instructions, that'll be great. Um, loosen that knob and maybe that'll open up this joint. I mean, I probably should follow the directions more so um, because I know it's easier than I'm making it look uh, right now. Loosen this guy and that still is there. So that's how you open up the entire length of the tripod or the selfie stick arm system. So it's all adjusting these joints, um, which is self-explanatory to some degree, right? And, um, and then down here, we have that whole tripod system where these guys are going to butterfly out to form, well, a real deal tripod. So pretty cool. Hopefully that comes into focus as I almost knocked it over. And then we also have these feet here. I don't know if um, they're on the others, but so that you can actually just like clip this onto something so it'll hang, but still use this as a tripod. That, that's an incredibly flexible um, and portable tripod is what I would say. So, you know, it's a pretty cool uh, device that they've put together with this specific model in mind. So let's get back to the camera. I'm going to go ahead and pull off the magnetic mounting clip and let's see if we have any power. We do. You can see English language. I mean, we're going to go through the setup. The touchscreen is going to work well. The app is going to work well. I have full confidence um, in that. And again, your power button right here, you can now see that front display. Granted, the refresh rate is going to look a little, you know, it's going to look like it's flickering. Um, it is not in person, of course. You can say, see, hopefully, 4K60, 16 by 9 battery life. It gives you, um, you know, an indicator for your SD card so you know where you're at. And then your actual indicator for recording. Uh, blue, I believe, when recording. Obviously, right now, we're in standby. Um, so pretty cool. And you will need to install the app get everything going, made it, but not a big deal uh, at all. And then right here, uh, we have access to our battery door. So I'll go ahead and pop that open. Uh, there it is. Again, great battery life. I could see maybe picking up an additional one, um, you know, but remember 100 minutes, 4K, 30 is really impressive. So a lot of you probably will be fine just with that single battery. Um, and then this is going to give you access to your type C port and micro SD card slot uh, bay. And that's pretty much it. If you want to use an external mic with this, you will have to pick up their adapter. Uh, that's standard on Insta360 products. Uh, so maybe I'll get one of those to test it out as well, because I think with this sort of video quality uh, that the Ace Pro brings to the table, it'll be good to have. But again, just an unboxing first look, really nice looking little action cam. And also be aware um, because this is not removable, this Leica lens can get scratched. Insta, to my knowledge, for the first year of ownership, if you scratch this inadvertently, they are replacing it one time for you absolutely free. Um, I know they did that. They, they started with that at launch. I believe it's still ongoing. So that's a nice little added uh, bonus when it comes to uh, you know security and knowing that this is going to be um, exactly what you expect and that you know, the manufacturer is standing behind the product. So as I pull off all of our little stickers, now I'm ready to just set this up with my phone and eventually deliver the full review. Excited to share it with all of you because again, this stands to be the action camera to beat for some time until we see other manufacturers step up to the plate. But any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.